everyone. Welcome to week number one of 52 Reason and Record Tips. I'm James Bernard from Propellerhead Software. In this week's episode, I'm going to show you how to create a rhythmic gate, also sometimes called a trance gate, using the mixer in Record and using the gate in the dynamic section of the mixer. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started, I've got a little basic song here, which is just some pads and some drums, and I'll play that for you. Simple four bar pattern, so the pads are changing every bar. Interesting, but could be a little bit more fun if we do something else. So we're going to look at the mixer by pressing F5 on the computer keyboard. And right here in the input section, we're going to use this gate section and use the key sidechain input to get our triggered gate. So we'll go to the rack, hitting F6, and what I want to do is I'm going to take the actual drum pattern itself, the entire pattern, and use that as a trigger for the gate. So in order to do that and still hear the drums, I'm going to show the insert effects section for the drums mixer channel, and I'm going to use the insert effects to device and patch that directly into the side chain input on the dynamic section for the pad mixer channel. This could also apply to audio tracks as well. It doesn't have to be mixed channels, but it could also be audio tracks. So now we'll go back to our mixer, and right here on the pad's dynamics channel, turn on the gate, and already you can start to hear some of that gating going on. If we turn up our range knob all the way, turn up our threshold, we start to really hear that closed gate. Now if I turn down the release knob, it gets very staccato. Now if I wanted to add a little bit of longer release so it's not so staccato, I just turn this knob up a little. Or if I want to add some of the original signal back in, I turn down the range a bit. Since every one of the knobs and buttons on the mixer channel are automatable, I can always turn this off or turn it back on at any point in the song that I want to hear the effect. So again, just looking at the routing, the, from the drums mix channel or audio track, insert effects to the dynamics sidechain input on the track that you'd like to gate. Now this of course could have been if I just wanted the, let's say the hats. Take the hats, which are on channel eight of the redrum, and now I'm just getting the hats. So you have a lot of flexibility there. Pretty cool stuff. And again, looking at that mixer, turn on your gate and work with your range, threshold, and release knobs. Another cool thing we can do, and we'll shut this off for a second, we'll get a different song here, is if you look at the rack here, you can see I've got a Dr. Rex loop player loaded up with a Rex loop. And if you look at the sequence track, you can see I've got a pattern there, and I'm using that Dr. Rex loop. Now what I'm going to do in this situation is instead of using the gate on just the pads, I'm going to actually have the drums gating the pads, but using a Rex loop to gate the entire output, the master section. And this is kind of cool. What you can do is if you look at the rack and flip the rack around, right here on the master section, just like on mix channels, you have the insert effects send and return. I can actually take that insert effects send and return, create a new mix channel, and use that send to go into the input of the mix channel, and then the direct out of the mix channel back into the from device return. By doing that, the mix channel that I've selected isn't going to be fed into the main mix. It's using a direct out, so it's going right back into the master section. So you're not going to get any feedback. And this is the kind of result that you can get. And we'll listen to the mix here. So you can see, there's the master being fed into this master section mix channel. And I've got that pattern you look at the rack, this Dr. Rex loop player's output is being fed into the side chain input. So that's where we're getting our really cool pattern. And again, just like with the original one that I had shown you, if I wanted to go to the mixer itself and turn off that effect at any time, I can automate the gate on or off. And then 
and we have that effect. Pretty cool stuff. So join me next week as we continue on our 52 Reason and Record Tips journey. Thanks a lot. I'm James Bernard.